Hey, how you guys doing? <clears throat> I'm here to review the newest from Massacre video, Savage Vengeance. That's right, here is the DVD. It looks way better than the old DVD release, I remember. Uh, then, and I'm sure it's a lot more crystal than the old one as well. And not to say that this picture looks too great, it's a shot of video, so it's probably going to be remastered as best as it can, mean uh, maybe an unopened VHS. Because uh, it doesn't look too great here, it's kind of dark, of course. But then again, if you guys are familiar with shot on video or really low budget shot on video, especially, it's it's not going to look amazing no matter what you do to it. You could cover it in gold; it wouldn't look like any different than how it used to. But basically, what we have here is a cash in on the ice pit on your grave. Uh, but the cool thing is, they got Kamel Keaton to come back and star in it. And the funny thing is, uh, I believe she was probably called Jennifer Hill in this one as well, because uh, you notice throughout the movie at some points they'll be talking and uh, somebody will be the original. Jennifer and her voice will just like come over and it will like cut it out. It's kind of crazy and it's it happens a couple times when this guy's saying hey maybe he said a different name and he says and it edits it over. He's like, anyways, up oh, Jennifer and it's pretty funny. I'll show that scene. If I thought I could get away with it, I could come up with maybe half a dozen members of our faculty. I'd enjoy killing personally. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Jennifer was a student in this class. Of course, with her reputation, she might not be here very long. <laughs> <laughs> Happens actually a couple times in there, I noticed. But uh, actually, my personal favorite thing about the movie is probably the bizarre, weird score in it. It's it's really like a little synth in there. It's really cheesy and really weird and just kind of sporadic, kind of strange. There's a couple different ones in there. And I actually enjoyed uh, like the music and the score. And I actually enjoyed the scenery at one point. Uh, the autumn kind of uh, taking place in October. You know, I'm a big uh, fan of films that take place with the leaf foliage, I guess you'd say. I don't know why I even decided to go back to school. I mean, I'm 29 years old. There's a point where you just have to say, fuck it. Is that the only reason? Well, there was a little bit of a scene in my law class. Somehow the professor found out I was the Jennifer. He wanted to set me up as some kind of legal curiosity. You mean that trial you were in? But weren't you found innocent? That's just it. I guess he sees me as some kind of crazy vigilante who killed four men. He doesn't give a shit about what those bastards did to me. Hey, but that was five years ago. Do you still think about it a lot? There hasn't been a day that I don't think about it. I still see their faces. I need to get some gas. Looks like a shell station. Echo Valley is a nice neighborhood community. Yes. But, yeah. It's probably the best parts. Uh, in the opening of the movie, I remember I originally turned this movie off about 13 years ago. Well, it was about, actually, maybe not 13 years ago. I was probably like 16, 17. I was a huge fan of I Spit on Your Grave. I don't remember when these DVDs came out, but I bought this whole uh, I Will Dance on Your Grave collection on uh, eBay. And uh, this one was Savage Vengeance. I have the others, but uh, I popped this in back in the day, and right when it came on, uh, it looked really crummy. And this was years before I was really familiar with shot and video. Over ten, over ten years ago, I had seen like some stuff like running zombies, but I wasn't really didn't know that many of them. So uh, <laughs> I started watching it, and I saw the clothed rape scene, and I was just like, "Okay, Kamel Keaton with her pants on, getting raped by a bunch of guys with jeans on. Magic must be magic zippers or something. They kind of you're just supposed to assume they're sticking it through the zippers, and that's a whole lot of zipper action. I'm not going to be doing that." with a whole bunch of metal in between. Nah. But anyway, so you're kind of like, eh, that's stupid as shit. And uh, I turned it off. But uh, today, I'm a way different person. I've seen shot on video. I've seen the worst of the worst movies. I've seen the best of the best. I guess I'd say, but uh, this one uh, is like silly, stupid, and it's kind of fun. I mean, it's nice to see Kamel Keaton acting, but I can't really highly recommend this movie at all. But if you're a fan of it, this is the best release you're going to see. They also released it on VHS under Blood Angel Savage Vengeance 2. And this is definitely a movie that you should see on VHS. Uh, but then again, uh, the ending... Uh, saying all these bad things about the movie. But uh, it's nice to see Donald Farmer in the movie too, and he's probably the most... Uh, entertaining character I, I guess i'd say he's kind of really just like a twitchy uh spaz kind of rapist and uh he keeps saying you want a slim jim we got an extra slim jim and i was just like that i get that's just like creepy stupid touch that people will remember and i thought that was probably one of my favorite scenes as well 
We don't get too many like you around here. Yeah, where I come from, we don't get too many like you either. Um, you, you want something to go, go with that coat? Uh, I got an extra Slim Jim. I don't think so. Well, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe you'd like to come to my house later on. I got something there I bet you'd like to see. I doubt it. Oh, what's the matter? You think you're too good for me? You saving that tight ass for some rich boy? Get that away from me. That's what it is, isn't it? You, you think you're too good? These city bitches are all alike. I should have known. I don't think the lady wants to talk to you. You understand? You understand me, shithead? Hell! I hope that freak didn't upset you. He's just a big mouth. Like a show off. No, I'm okay. I can see the advantage of having someone like you around this place. I'm trying to save what few customers I can. Since that new turnpike come through, nobody travels this road no more. Well, maybe they don't know where you are. Hey, my girlfriend and I rented a cabin a few miles up the road. You're welcome to stop by. Is, is that an invitation? I guess so. Well, I might just take you up on that. Where you at? Uh, the intersection of Peckhamer Road and Flynn's Lick. You know where that is? Sure. That's about 20 minutes away. I'm ready to go. How much was it? $10.50. Okay. Here's 10 Here you want what the heck? I'll make it a first-time discount. Oh, uh, this is Jennifer. Jennifer? Dwayne Chesney. Glad to meet you. I'll see you soon. Maybe you will. Oh, by the way, my name's Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. Like I said, uh, the dialogue in here is fairly funny. Uh, the two rapists at the end are just kind of like sleazy ridiculous. There's a lot of scenes that are just pretty much Ice Spinner in Your Grave rehashes. And it's going to be compared to Ice Spinner in Your Grave. It's really hard to even compete with that movie, period. But uh, another scene I did enjoy was the throat slashing. But it kind of changes real angles dramatically. So I wonder if the one part of it was actually from another movie and it was cut in there. I'm not really sure. But uh, the throat cutting was good. And, of course, there is a chainsaw scene. And the chainsaw scene for low-budget special effects is uh, pretty cool, pretty good stuff maybe something along the lines of the effects in the abomination but then again abomination had tons of crazy effects like that but uh The chainsaw scene I did enjoy. Uh, that's pretty much what I'd recommend. It's very short. Uh, good scenery, some good synth music, and a couple snippets of gore, and like three clothed rape scenes. Yeah, a lot of clothed rape scenes. Uh, but there is some boobs in there. I mean, who really wants to see boobs and rape? It's not really like an attractive thing, anyways. But you know what I mean? When people are getting raped, it's not like, mm. you know, it's not like a. I guess you'd say good, bad nudity? I don't know. Some people probably think no nudity is bad nudity, but then again, you know. Anyways, like they said, it's a rape scenes really aren't that disturbing because the clothes, but then again, and they had the special features interview with Mel Keaton. He said, I guess he would kind of say it's like a double-edged sword because if it's ultra-realistic, people get on your ass, and if it's ultra-fake, people get on your ass. If there's rape in a movie, people are going to get on your ass. Anyways, but uh, I don't know. I prefer realistic rape scenes because I think it really carries the film on, and it says uh, it doesn't glorify rape. This doesn't glorify rape either. I mean, there's nothing pleasant about it, but it's just kind of uh, hokey. But anyways, that's Savage Vengeance. It has commentary. I 
did not uh, listen to. I didn't get a chance to from Donald Farmer interview with Camille Keaton uh, with Donald Farmer. Donald Form- Farmer probably knows more about movies than anyone else I've ever seen on film. But uh, thank you very much for watching. You can pick us up at the Massacre Video label. Their next release is Snuff 102, which should be really, really awesome. Uh, I have a bootleg of it, which I didn't know was a bootleg. Well, I kind of did, but really look forward to that release. I'm gonna wait till the video comes out to watch that, and we'll be reviewing that. But if you like savage shot on video, stupid bad movies that are kind of funny, with uh, you know, might sign some redeeming, interesting qualities to it for you, uh, then check out check out our uh, Savage Vengeance. If not, then steer clear. And I guarantee this is an upgrade from this. So have a good one. Bye.